and welcome back everyone to the anubavtrainings.com. Welcome to this video series on SAP Build Application Development using SAP BTP Build Apps. So in this series of videos, we are going to learn basics of SAP Build Apps. For a detailed training on SAP Build Apps, please feel free to subscribe the course on anubavtrainings.com. However, this series is going to give you an enough idea on basics of build app and creating simple build app applications on BTP. So let's get started. Our today's topic will be introduction to what is SAP build apps and why do you need that? If you like my work, please like, share and subscribe this channel and kindly send out the playlist link into the WhatsApp group of your company so other colleagues can also take an advantage. With that, let's get started and understand what is he what is SAP Build Apps? So, what is SAP Build Apps? SAP Build Apps is a AI-infused professional application development solution designed for anyone who would like to quickly create business applications without writing coding, regardless of role or the skills. So, if you give the Build Apps in the hands of a citizen developer, a functional consultant in your company or a school student or a college student who is not ventured into coding they can use it to create applications that's what we learned in the last class as well the so-called low code no code environment the build app offers you to develop strategically designed applications for business with user interfaces quite easily because it comes with enterprise grade custom application capability development capability with an easy to use drag and drop features or with natural language descriptions using ai so you can also utilize the ai prompts and it can create the necessary application for you it also allows us to create data model and business logic visually build code build cloud service without any code you can also integrate seamlessly like connecting to your sap as well as non sap solution with pre-built components connectors and integrations so that way you can pull out the real data from your company and showcase that in the app so both the people with the coding skills as well as people with the known coding skills can use the build apps Broadly, as you know, Build Apps is part of the SAP Build portfolio, which includes Build Process Automation, Build Workzone as additional services. Having said that, let's try and understand the key components of the SAP Build App. What are the core capabilities does it offer? So first, Build Visually, where you can use the Build capabilities to design customer tailor-made solutions. Customers can build visually using drag drop and intuitive interfaces. This allows us to quickly design, configure and deploy application without coding experience. By leveraging build capabilities, customers can quickly create rich interactive applications that streamlines their business processes, drive greater efficiency and reduce the operational cost. The tool is designed in such a way that anyone from a technical or non-technical background can easily use the pre-configured components, interface elements, and integration APIs along with data connector to pull the data. If you look at the SAP build, it comes with overall three major capabilities as in the diagram. First is the capability to authenticate the user. Whenever you develop an application, this is a very important aspect where you would want to secure your application with username password. So this is a built in capability. What build apps also have. It utilizes the identity and access management service, which we saw in the last class as part of its authentication strategy. Then comes is the deployment. So once your application is ready, you can utilize the deployment capabilities to import export your application between different tenants as well as use cloud transport management capability to move your application to the cloud systems 
then it allows connectivity with the help of destinations which is like a rfc connection which you typically create in a app to connect to third party as well as sap systems it fully leverage the capability of destinations to talk to external systems so you can integrate seamlessly the build capabilities help customers to integrate their sap solutions and applications and systems together in a seamless way then you can also collaborate with the feature of seamless integration build helps business leverage technologies like cloud based tools with development teams to establish communication protocol like life cycle management and built in governance so all of it is under the hood it's part of the build portfolio and we can leverage it coming to the two different personas here as a developer if you are a professional developer with skill set of ui5 fiori javascript node js and other programming skills like abap you can certainly use build apps to utilize your existing expertise plus learn build apps to see how can you build a end to end software without coding plus if you are a non technical person who is coming from business background with good business knowledge yet you would want to imagine an application and turn that into a real application with no code low code then you can go with build apps as well as a citizen developer so both the use cases both the target audiences can use the build apps now coming to the build app use cases so what are the different features does it support it allows you to easy create user interfaces with drag and drop capabilities that is the first advantages you will get with build apps it allows you to build stand alone applications as well as sap application extensions where you are using existing sap data to build an extension multi channel support basically allows you to build application once which can run on both devices like mobile devices and desktops where you can build web applications and mobile applications also help you to collaborative work on the business application then integrate with sap and non sap system with rest apis as well as o data apis if you are new to word o data don't worry you can check our training blog where we have posted a complimentary video for you on basics of o data i must recommend you to go through four complimentary videos which are posted on this training blog the first video is about basics of o data then there is one more video about javascript basics so as part of this training there is still a option to do low coding yes it's low code no code but code is still there for complex scenarios you can still add bit of coding and for that you need to have knowledge on javascript so my strong recommendation is to check the three complimentary videos at the end of this training blog where you will find two videos on basics of javascript one video on o data basics so please go through that now having said that it also allow you to use the btp authentication and destination mechanism which is part of sap btp visual cloud functions to create full stack application including backend logic data models and business logic so you will get visual coding experience without writing the code line by line and worrying about syntax there is a complete visual programming which it supports it then provides integration with build work process build process automation which we will also cover in the current training along with build work zone where user can access all our deployed applications so this is the typical setup and use cases what you will get offered from the sap build apps